Hi guys, my name's Annalise and I'm back with another ANTM British Invasion reaction video. Now this one is slightly different. I am focusing on deliberation and elimination. So basically looking at and critiquing the images from the Dream Come True photo shoot from episode 11. So as I said, deliberation and elimination, minus the call outs and my actual exit. I mean, we all know what happened there. I did a whole video on it, so I will pop the link to that above. So before I get started, thank you so much for the support so far. If you are new to my channel, it would be great if you subscribed and also got involved with the comments below. And if you are already subscribed, well done. Um, you can help out by giving this video a thumbs up, telling a friend and hitting that bell for notifications. Outfit check. I've kept it pretty simple today. I've just gone with this wrap dress, animal print, a bit of floral. It's from River Island. We've got an open back, a bit of puffed shoulder. Yeah, it's cute. So let's set the scene. It's episode 11, there's only three of us left. We did the Go See Challenge in Hong Kong. I did amazingly. We did the Dream Come True photo shoot. I did badly. If you haven't seen my reaction to the Dream Come True photo shoot itself, I suggest you go watch that before you continue because you know what? This might not make a lot of sense. So yeah, you do that and I'll get on with this reaction. Let's go. Looking fabulous. So are we. Hello. Or shall I say? Dream come true. Hello, my dream come true, lady. Hey. You know our judges, Mr. Nigel Barker, noted fashion photographer. Hi, Nigel. Legendary fashion PR maven. Hi, Kelly. And you know this man, Jess Smith. Oh, Jess Smith. And he shot you for your dream come true. Ad. Let's talk about our prizes. The winner will receive a fashion spread in Vogue Italia and be featured for on the fake prizes. She will also be a fashion guest correspondent for Extra. Our winner will also have a song because she'll have a single that is produced and released by CBS. She will be named the new face of the America's Next Top Model fragrance dream come true. Lies. She'll be offered a modeling contract with LA Models and New York Model Management. And she will receive a $100,000 contract with CoverGirl Cosmetics. Shall we? You know what? Let me just say, <laughs> what is the point of them having this long list of prizes that they're not gonna fulfill. Like to me, it's crazy because that list goes on forever. And to me, three awesome prizes that you, you actually got would have been amazing. Yeah, you know, the $100,000, gotta get that cash. Maybe, obviously signed LA models, um, LA models and New York models, right? Yes, perfect. Um, yeah, Vogue Italia, they got that. So you might as well have that, but that really would be it. Although I really wanted that guest extra correspondent spot. Anyways. <laughs> so we did some go-sees this week, but we, we did indeed. In I did well. Hong Kongian night. You know I love to make up a word. <laughs> Made up. <laughs> Laura, you're first. Come on now. Alright. Can all rock and roll. So Laura, yes. You have two out of four go-sees. Zagalicious. Yeah. Child, did you book them looking like this? No. This is just me being oh, crazy. <laughs> and are you ready to see your shot in the bottle? Let's yes. see it. Up in the bottle. It's gorgeous. Very, very beautiful. It is beautiful. Ethereal, feminine. I see expression in your it's eyes. You're not looking at camera. Thank you. Personally, I think it's a beautiful photo. I think you look like a goddess. I don't think the client was social, which is very important. What, what was the demo they were trying to hit on this? Younger. The younger. We kind of wanted this kind of. Styling's fault, I'm sorry, with the youthfulness. Kind of Youthful is hard. 
Do I think an 18-year-old girl is going to see this and say, I want to look like that? No. This looks more like an ad for a plastic surgeon's office on Park Avenue, honey. You are embodying every 50-year-old woman who wants to look 25 is going to buy. This shoot, for me, was definitely more difficult than the tower one. This is more difficult than the tower? Yes. Why? For Laura, yeah. A specific, specific box. And sometimes I get a little wrapped up in getting it out of the box. The hard, sexy is a comfort zone for me, and I went back into that. Um, this picture is absolutely beautiful. I'd want to buy this fragrance, mm -hmm. but I'm not the target demo. She is. I'm the Din Mama. Ooh, Thank the you. Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, Who's next? Annalise. She's just finding really funny, it's doesn't she? You look with your flag on your dress. Oh, oh thank you. So thank you, you got three out of four go sees. Well done. Thank I you. did. I have to say that you really won me over this week. I was really, really proud of you on the challenge. It was nice to see you on the boat. It was nice to hear the comments from the designers. And I think you've really, really come a long way. And I'm very, very, very proud of you. Thank you so much. It means so Shock much horror. To me from you, especially. <laughs> Let's see it. No. It's a beautiful picture. You know, but it doesn't for me really look like a model in this picture. Yeah. There's no energy, sort of I don't think. That's got herself yeah. a first perfume and she's in there doing her thing. But the reality is because you book so many ghosties, that just shows the power of presence. Yeah. And you have presence. The presence. You came on set. You were I am a presence. You so and gorgeous and bubbly. I really thought you were going to be amazing. And then when you got into the bottle, you just kind of froze up. Yeah. It sucked my energy, that's why. Of anybody else. The one thing I will say is that you absolutely did not give up. Yeah. <laughs> which I think I have a lot of respect for. You are Very a little true. muscular. I agree with Nigel on that. It looks a little tennis. Do I think this is going to make the average looks Asian girl in mid-America want to go out and buy this fragrance? No, I do not. Does it look more youthful than Laura's? For me, it does. Yeah, I'm feeling Ooh. a little Michelle Obama meets Venus Williams yes. meets an ad or a catalog captured in a bottle with a little Aladdin twist. Yes, that is not Your smile a compliment. Saved that picture from being disastrous. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> Sophie. Get off the stage. Sophie, challenge you. winner this week. You booked four out of four go sees. She did indeed. Hundred percent. I just have fun, you know. This is a great I'll look for her as well. Are ready to see your best shot? Yes. Let's see. So I think this brief was probably made for you. Your, your natural energy is quite upbeat and girly and soft, and it's young and fresh and youthful. I don't actually think you look that youthful in it, but that doesn't make it mean it's not beautiful. It's I think the it's jewelry. Look at the jewelry. I, I just, for me, would just take a little bit of more sort of sense of humor in the face, <laughs> not so kind of uh, dramatic, ethereal. It gets. It's just a little older. I do think that this is more useful than some of the other things that we've seen, but I'd like to see that dress up. You know, I'd like to see it up, like, ha. Like, I'm hot, I'm fun. Thank you so much. I think it should have just been shorter and out of the way. Myself, Kelly, and my twins here have to deliver. And Deliberation. when I call you back, I will announce the two finalists who will compete in a fashion show for Forever 21. And it is a fashion <gasps> show like you and I have never seen before. High Street, so, babe. Will it be Nothing wrong with that. Or will it be an American? But it ain't good, she. So let me gather my thoughts and critique these photos. Starting off with Laura. Okay. First of all, you know what? Let me just speak generally first. I am not a massive fan of this collection of photos. I'm not a fan of the concept. I think the stuck in the bottle thing. I think, um, I don't think the lighting is great. I don't think the lighting, the styling, being stuck in a bottle helps the brief of being young, youthful and fun. Like it's very confined. And I think all of us looked older than we actually are. But let's just talk about Laura's photo. Let me try and critique. I actually think it's a gorgeous photo in the sense that her arms look lovely. She's soft. You know, Laura can be quite uh, hard and no, nope, I like it. It's soft. It's kind of dreamy. Um, her head up does look like she's dreaming. I think a lot of us aimed for that in, when posing because there was so little that you could do. Um, I don't know, looking up felt like it was that added level. Overall, I think it's a really nice photo and I think it does... It does say dream come true, princess, fairy tale kind of thing. Yeah. I mentioned before it was a bit booby and I think that's where the sex appeal came from. But overall, I still think it was a gorgeous photo. But on to mine. Hmm. You know what? I 
think that this photo is better than what I thought was going to be shown. Yeah, I thought the photo was going to be a lot worse considering how bad I felt that I did on the day. Um, as Tyra said, I do think that my smile saved the photo. Um, let's go into the critique. Let's pretend this is not me. This disappearing hand and the laugh on the face, I feel like it kind of looks like I could be playing with something and I'm elated by said playing. I'm just gonna throw that out there and swiftly move on. I think the shoulders, they look a bit, they do look muscular. I do look like I could be Venus. I will take that. What was it? Venus, Michelle, oh, Aladdin. <laughs> I don't know where she got Aladdin from, but okay. Um, but overall, not as bad as I thought. I still think it's youthful and not so hideous. I felt really hideous on the day. I think it's quite pretty. It's nice. It's okay. Lacking a bit of energy, but okay. As for Sophie's photo, I think it is easy to say that hers is the best photo out of the three of us. I like how the swoosh of perfume kind of is like, swoosh and then the back of the dress is like swoosh the other way um i like her hands i called it that wispy fairy tale thing sophie's really good at that my arms don't do that because of the athletic shoulders but you know if i was gonna be fussy i would say maybe that right hand looks a bit funny against the glass but her face looks pretty it's a pretty photo it's great yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Again, this whole youthful thing, I, I just feel like the styling was not helping us. This jewellery, like what kind of young girl do you see rocking like diamond necklaces and diamond bangles? Nah, it's just not very young, fun and funky and here and hey and it, it's not us, it's them. So it's time to deliberate, y'all. It's time to, like, make two girls' dreams come true and crush one. And talk behind our backs. Well, I mean, to me, this is a high fashion shoe, but I don't know a 17-year-old girl that's going to see this and say, Mommy, please buy me this fragrance. But Mommy might say to her daughter, Daughter, would you buy this perfume for me? <laughs> because I want to Still not our fault. Rock and roll. And I think that's what she is. She's a rock and roll chick. And some of those rock and roll models are a little hard-edged. She sees herself as this sort of sexy, hip thing, but she wasn't able to let go of that and drop the sex i think 18 year old girls actually want to look older so fair I think enough tyra that they would like this the 18 year old wants to be 25 25 year old girl wants to be 27 the 30 year old wants to be 18. annalise shot as far as the brief is concerned for me is the one that nails it the most when i look thank at you it, nigel do I love it not necessarily but is it youthful is it fun yeah i think so this to me really looks like a jewelry catalog holiday bridal ad but you know she has a great attitude and she and has a really modeling. really good spirit and she did awesome on her booking and i've learned a little bit about her i learned that you know sometimes a good headspace and a good personality can go a long way Everyone it tells does. me that she's gotten this far in the competition because of her personality. Then in the photo, there was none. It was just flat. It was flat. Sophie. It's just a stunning shot. She's a good model. And Seeing she's them all three again, is it definitely young? Sophie's is, is the useful? best. Yeah, not so much. It's more of a sort of, oh, I'm a princess. Oh, I'm a fairy. The thing with Sophie is that she came onto set and immediately got the brief. She did have the joy and she had the elation that the client was looking for. I think she did a great job. She I love did. the way her silhouette looks, her torso. I love what she's doing with her hands. I think she's a beautiful girl. She's a model. Yeah. She's a model. Remember at the beginning of this competition when the Americans were killing it week after week after week? That best was photo, embarrassing. Best photo, best photo. The Brits dwindled down, down, down. <laughs> But the Brits came and just went, pow! I think it's very interesting, too, just when you look at all the girls, that you know, they are from different parts of the world, but there's similarities as well. They all want the same kind of thing, and they all yeah. want to win. We've reached a decision. We have two finalists. Dun, dun, dun! So we all know the decision that was made. I was sent home. I mean, I would have done the same thing. I feel like it had to be an American girl against a British girl. And let's face it, Sophie was shining, both in the go-sees and the photo shoot. I actually think, let's just say, just let's just say that we were all American. All of us were American. I still think it would have been me and Laura in the bottom two 
and that it would have been the same outcome. Do you agree with me? Let me know your thoughts below. It was my time to go for sure. However, I still think that my elimination was, in fact is, one of the most happiest positive exits from America's Next Top Model of all time. I know you agree with me on that one, right? After my elimination, I'm not sure if it was later that night or the next day or something, I bumped into Jez, the photographer in the lift at the hotel, and he was so nice. He was really complimentary, reassuring, like he totally made me feel better about my poor performance. So for that, Jez, thank you so much. And thank you so much to you guys for watching this video, my reaction to deliberation, elimination of episode 11, America's Next Top Model, British Invasion. So what? I've basically done every episode now, right? Every episode of the British Invasion. Of course, I've still got the finale episode to do. I'm thinking I might do other seasons, you know. And of course, I've still got the Oliver Twix collaboration in the pipeline. So yes, there is definitely going to be lots more ANTM content along with so many other videos. So please do make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking for a way to pass the time, because let's face it, the tough times are not over yet. You can take a look at my playlists. Yes, my fabulous fashion one, along with my model diary playlist. Thank you so much again. Stay safe and I will see you soon.